How to use the super trend indicator today trade crypto. Traders prefer to trade with the trend. That's where a simple yet effective indicator known as super trend comes in. This tool can help you identify and get in early on emerging trends. The super trend is calculated using two key components, ATR and a multiplier. The ATR measures the overall price range of an asset, offering an indication of its volatility. The multiplier allows traders to change the sensitivity of the indicator. What are the best super trend settings? The standard settings are ATR with a period of 10 and a multiplier with a factor of 3. A shorter ATR will give more weight to recent price action, while a longer ATR will smooth out values. A lower multiplier increases the number of overall signals, including false signals, while allowing for a tighter stop loss. A higher multiplier is supposed to generate fewer entries and false signals, often at the cost of a wider stop. There is no one-size-fits-all setting for crypto trading. The theory says it's best to keep the ATR value somewhere between 10 and 20 since this will provide a good mix of sensitivity to recent price action and smoothing. As for the multiplier, the standard factor of 3 is suitable. Some traders may prefer to adjust it to 4, 5, or 6 to account for crypto volatility, although this may lead to a reduced risk-reward ratio. For intraday trading focusing on short-term price movements, you could consider adjusting the settings to increase sensitivity to price fluctuations. One possible configuration is to use a multiplier of 2 and an ATR period of 10. The Supertrend indicator offers fairly simple bullish and bearish signals. Bullish signals occur when price crosses above the Supertrend line. Bearish signals are generated when price falls below the Supertrend line. One Minute Supertrend Scalping Strategy Using the 10 period ATR and 2 factor multiplier, you can trade with a 1 minute super trend crypto scalping strategy, which may provide you with some opportunities to enter early with relatively tight stop loss levels. When the line turns green, you may open a long market order, while if the line turns red, you may consider a short market order. The entry is supposed to be at the candle's close. Stop loss may be above or below the nearest swing high or low. You may close the trade when the super trend switches to another color. Double Super Trend Strategy This strategy is based on two super trends with different settings to reduce the number of false signals. Traders use a fast super trend with lower settings, like 10 period ATR and 3 factor multiplier, and a slow super trend with higher settings, like 20 and 6. Traders may enter with a market order once the market direction is confirmed by both fast and slow super trend lines or wait for a retrace to the slow super trend and enter with a limit order. Stop loss may be set above or below a nearby swing high or low. You may close the trade when the slow super trend signals a change in direction. 3 Super Trend Strategy This strategy seeks extra confirmation using 3 super trends and an exponential moving average. The EMA helps us classify the trend in another way. This strategy requires 3 super trends with varying settings. You may use 10 and 2. 20 and 4, and 30 and 6, and a 200 period EMA. Traders may wait until all three super trends are green and price is above the 200 EMA for a long entry, and when all three super trends are red and price is below the 200 EMA for a short entry. Stop loss may be above or below a nearby swing point. You may close the trade when all three super trend lines turn red if bullish or green if bearish. Relative Strength Index Super Trend Strategy the Relative Strength Index RSI, can help us confirm trends. The midpoint, 50, is regarded as the defining boundary, with action above indicating bullishness and below demonstrating bearishness. Here, you can also increase the super trend multiplier to 5 to get a clearer picture of the trend. Traders may enter with a market order when super trend gives a bullish or bearish signal, which is confirmed by the RSI being above or below 50. Stop loss may be above or below a nearby swing point. You may close the trade when the super trend switches or if RSI is above 70 or below 30, indicating extreme overbought or oversold conditions. The super trend indicator is a versatile tool that can help traders take advantage of new trends with fairly simple entry and exit signals. While it can produce false signals, particularly in ranging markets, the strategies described should help you filter out some of these losing trades. If you want to test them for yourself, you can try our free Tick Trader platform. Good luck!